what it's all about. All right, we got this one. Nice one. We gotta be real quiet. Gotta be quieter than that. Let's do this. You got it. You got it. Reel him in. Go for that Tom in the middle. This is serious business out here. You gotta stay sharp. <laughs> Think that might be overkill? Got a nice buck about a hundred yards out. All right. Doesn't get any better than this. Awesome. That's the only word to describe whitetail hunting in Kansas. And I'd say we're starting off small, but there's just no such thing when it comes to the record racks you're going to be going after on these upcoming hunts. Also, keep an eye out for ringneck pheasants, eastern turkey, rabbits, mallards. Why, I've even got some great bass fishing lined up for you. I've got all the tags ready, but first things first. Pheasant usually nest in brush like this. You should equip your shotgun, and I'll try flushing some up for you to shoot. Remember, only shotguns are legal for shooting birds. Only shotguns are permitted in bird hunting. When they flush up, get ready to take a shot. Hey, I think you hit it. Let me teach you a bit more about shooting down a pheasant. First, I noticed that you may not have been leading your shot. You need to get the jump on these birds because they'll get out of range quickly. Get your gun's sights pointed slightly in front of the bird's flight path, and then take your shot. Get them before they fly off. I'll bet that this clearing we're in is filled with roosting spots full of pheasant. I've got some pheasant tags. Have some fun flushing them up and shooting them down. I'll wait for you on the far end of the clearing. Move through, flushing birds up as you go. Come over when you've shot your quota.
That was some wing shooting. Hey, look over here. It looks like some whitetail have passed through the small ravine in front of us. I think it might have been a buck that passed through. Let's take a look at the marks it left behind. It was a buck. Keep your eyes peeled. Let's sneak quietly through this ravine. I have a feeling a buck might be nearby. First, you need to crouch. Crouching and walking lets you move quietly. Follow me. Shh, move slow. Stay quiet. score of a deer by using a rangefinder. Equip your rangefinder and aim over the bigger 10-point buck. When you get your reticle over it, you'll be able to field judge its rack and get a better look at its score. Good work. That's a really nice buck. Let's get after him. Do you see the big rock on top of the hill? Stay low and sneak up there. I'll drive the bucks towards you after you move up there into position. I'll move up the side of the valley and get ready to drive the deer. You head up to that large rock on top of the hill. start driving the whitetails toward you, you need to learn how to target an animal's vitals. Its vitals are the spots you need to hit to bring most animals down with one shot. Once you're in range of the animal, move your rifle sights over the animal. You'll see the animal's vitals appear. When they're glowing, you can use breath to control your breathing and steady your aim. Don't shoot her, but that doe is in range to practice with vitals. Aim at her with your rifle and get her vitals to appear. Once they appear, try using your breath. Nice job. On the count of three, I'm going to drive those deer towards your position. Try for the buck with the big antlers. When he comes into range, make his vitals appear, and then use breath to steady your aim. Get ready to shoot. Get ready. <laughs> 